Okay, let's switch to SOLIDWORKS and have a look at the improvements to cost in SOLIDWORKS 2016. We'll start with sheet metal parts. Here we have a sheet metal part, and in previous releases it was only possible for us to cost sheet metal parts based on material weight. Now we can cost them based on sheet size. So as I select sheet size, I'm given the option of what sheet size I want to select from this drop down menu here. And then from there, the system calculates what the bounding box is. So that's the smallest possible rectangle you can fit around the flatten model. And then it does a basic nesting operation to see how many of those it can get out of the size sheet that you've specified. So if we have a look at the uh, bounding box nesting that's going on at the moment, we can see our sheet and we can see a number of rectangles within that sheet. Now you may need some clearance around those rectangles. So if that's the case, we can just add an offset around that bounding box. We can also add um, a sheet border offset as well. Now that's happened, you can see the parts become more expensive to make. And if I just show the nesting, it's because we've got quite a lot of scrap on that sheet. So if we change the sheet size, you can see the part actually becomes less expensive. Um, and that's because we can get more out of the sheet and we need less sheets to do it. Those values are actually given to us here. So we've got a percent scrap, a total number of parts per sheet, and a total number of sheets for lot size. And again, if we just have a look at the bound in box nesting, you can see that's how it looks. We've also seen some improvements to costing with machining. So when you have a machine part, the system will automate various bits of the costing for you. So what is a whole operation, what's a mill operation, that sort of thing. There are still um, times where you have to do some manual operations. So for instance, if we took this block in, we'd increase the blank size. And the reason that we might choose to do that is we might want to have a facing operation on these edges. Similarly, if we go into the If we go into the hole operations here, we can see that two of our holes have a warning next to them. And that's because the size of the hole is too big for our, our drill set. We don't have a drill big enough for those. So it would be necessary for us to drag those holes into a milling operation and mill them instead. So they become a, a pocket instead. Finally, we might add a custom operation in. So if this was aluminium as an example, we might add anodizing, or if it was steel, we might add in um, galvanizing or zinc plating as an example, and then define a cost for those. Now what we have in SOLIDWORKS 2016 is a rules-based costing, which will help us automate some of that process. If we go to the correct template, you'll see that as soon as I select it, it automatically adds a little bit of material around the, um, the blank. We automatically get our holes um, cut as circular pockets. And if I go into custom operations, you can see it's automatically added a zinc plating operation for me. So the reason it does this is if we go into the template, we have a new section here called rules with a number of if and if and then statements within it. So if I just select one, it tells us that it's going to convert large drill holes to milled circular pockets if the hole diameter is greater than 20 millimeters. If still, then add zinc plate into the part. And then finally, it's add material to the block stock body in these directions if machining is chosen as the costing method. So it's just there to basically automate those tasks that we would do manually. And then finally, if we switch back to the assembly, Rather than having to cost each part individually and then bring it into the assembly environment, it's actually possible for us to do all of our costing within the assembly environment. All we need to do here is use the begin cost estimation um, button and the parts that haven't already been costed will be costed using that template. We can now do nesting for sheet metal parts. We have a new stock size option. 
Yeah, you can define stock sheet sizes for sheet metal costing. We have rules based costing. We have an assembly costing roll up and assembly report, roll up report generation. We now switch to Ed for e drawings.